Hello everybody and welcome back to the Doctor Strange Archive. Today we're going to do a Sanctum Forge video where I talk about the trading card chest that I built um, about a year ago, a little less than a year ago. The uh, I got tired of the way that my cards were being stored and they're, they're basically shoebox contraptions and I want something a little cooler, a little better to store them in. Um, people store their cards lots of different ways. They put them in binders, they put them in shoe boxes, they can buy custom storage devices for these things, and they all work just fine. Uh, for me, I'm a big wood guy. I wanted something made out of wood and then something that was customizable and had inserts where I could put dividers in to keep the stacks from falling over in the short rows and things like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over and check it out. All right, so this is the card chest that I ended up buying or making. It's all made out of pretty much solid maple. There's a little bit of veneer of maple in there also. I've got uh, my sideshow Doctor Strange maquette that came out a little while back. I love the statue and it fills the space really cool. I actually made the chest so I could put a statue in there and, and, and showcase it. Across the top on the easels, I've got the Doctor Strange Letterman patches that were in the 2016 Doctor Strange set. Um, and it spells out Doctor Strange. Comes in a couple different parallel sets. This one's the one with Cumberbatch's face up in the corner. Each one of the chests has three main drawers on each side where the cards are stored and then down below are three smaller drawers that we put a few different things in. So on this side is my normal year starting with the very first year Doctor Strange was in a trading card all the way up to uh, current years and the current uh, sets that are out. And then I've still got a space where I've got a drawer that hasn't even been used yet. Over here are my trading card and various cards that aren't part of like upper debt sets or top sets and stuff like that. So all Marvel versus those types of things. And then down here, these two drawers are actually for my 2016 Doctor Strange set. One drawer is completely dedicated to the hobby version and the other drawer is dedicated to the EPAC version. And then down below, I'll show you here in a second, we've got a drawer that I put uh, some of my boxes in because I also collect the boxes the trading cards come in. Um, and then larger sketches and cards and things that don't fit in uh, a normal trading card standard size format. So let's take a look at the drawers. All right, so here's an example of one of the drawers. This is my 2016 Doctor Strange hobby set. So what I've done is I've 3D printed these drawer inserts and they've got grooves in them. So I can put drawer dividers in there about every inch to be able to keep the cards from falling over, especially in a short rack. It's always, you know, you're always trying to stick stuff behind there, trying to keep the cards from falling over. Um, here it's pre-built and I've got them labeled. So this one here is the base set. They're limited to 150 and I've got the full base set there. Then we've got the full silver set here. These are all limited to 50. Then there's the gold set, which I'm still working on. And you can see here, we've got Letterman's patches, sketch cards. Uh, behind the lens is Vashanti Vestments, the uh, Hobby Pack version, uh, Strange Moments. So everything you pretty much see here for the most part is all the Hobby version. So the regular base sets. And then I've got a little bit of space in between the two sets of rows where I can put uh, various documentation or boxes for the sets and those types of things. So we put one drawer in and pull one drawer out. You can see that this is my uh, EPAC version. So I've got some of the cards down here are also ones that are common between both Hobby and EPAC. So Strange Change, um, the full sets, there's multiple sets of EPACs for the base set. So there's uh, 50 cards for each one of those. Uh, strange Moments, those types of things. And then down here in the very bottom is where I can store things like larger sketches. I've got original wrappers for various sets and gum sets that are vintage from the 60s and the 70s. Uh, we've got uh, uncut proof sheets for the sticker sets, those types of things. So just extra storage where I can put different things and put different boxes in and stuff like that. So that's the car chest. If you want to figure out how I actually put these together and how it was actually built, keep watching the video and I'll do a little time lapse showing some of the various components in that. And always, um, if you want to keep up with some Doctor Strange information, see some cool collectibles, please visit the YouTube channel that's listed at the end of the video. We've got Facebook, Instagram, all that type of stuff. And if you ever got any questions that pertain to Doctor Strange, vintage, if you can't figure out what something is and you need to ask some questions, feel free to email me or contact me on one of the social media sites. All right, have a good night.